what people feel about uh, in medicine has changed a little bit from the Marcus Welby image uh, that people used to have. And most people who are young don't even know who Marcus Welby is anymore. <laughs> but those who are old enough like me would know that. But that humanitarian image that many physicians used to have has gone a little bit by the wayside, but it's not as bad as other professions. And I think we need to bring that into medicine a little bit more again. But those who enjoy the people interaction, the satisfaction of helping a person, of curing someone, of contributing in so many ways to the betterment of society through health, they should go into medicine. And money is not an issue. It's true, it is expensive. I am not gonna deny that. Uh, many kids are coming out of medical school now with a lot of loans and they say, why do I wanna get myself into a $200,000 debt when there's no money to pay for that because physicians may not be making as many salaries as they used to because of all these other regulations. Uh, you can't let totally distract you from what the passion in life is, what you really want to do because that is what's going to make you happy. That is what's going to drive you. That is what's going to give you the motivation when those, when when, when you have to stay till 3 o'clock in the morning studying, when you don't have the money and you have to take that extra job, whether it's tutoring like I did or whether it's waiting, you know, being a waitress or waiter at a table uh, in a restaurant. So you need that motivation to get you going, the passion that I talk to my girls about. Cal State San Bernardino opened, the, the, new, the brand new director of the Department of Education was my former director at Redlands. And so he said, we're, we're going to develop a, a program here in, in, in education. So well, join us. Well, um, I'd had an experience at Redlands that was very positive, but also um, <laughs> I had been involved in bringing Cesar Chavez and the Teatro Campesino, the theater group from Delano to perform at the University of Redlands. At that time, Redlands was a little too conservative and uh, some of the people didn't like the fact that uh, that was going on. So it was an opportune time uh, when Cal State opened, when I was appointed Dean of, of the School of Education, which is now called the College of Education. Uh, this was in 1978 uh, and when I retired in in uh, 1990, um, I, there were 76 faculty members in the School of Education, so the growth was fantastic. We had uh, a large number of credential uh, programs, and one time we were third, although we weren't as big a school as some of the other Cal State schools because we were beginning to grow. We had the third largest number of students obtaining credentials from vocational education all the way to counseling. <laughs>